How was your Saturday night? <laughs> Pretty great. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> I mean, you know, regardless of what plays out for the rest of the week here, uh, that the memory of tonight is probably going to stay with you for an awful long time. Oh, definitely. Yeah, your first game in the Scotties. I mean, who's going to forget that? Um, I'm so glad that we all played so well and uh, had a really great start to the week. Did you feel any kind of pressure? I mean, obviously you're playing with one of the greatest teams of all time. I mean, do you feel a certain pressure that you have to raise, rise to that level, or was that even on your mind? I mean, a little bit, but they don't expect me to replace Caitlin. They just want me to play well, and um, they've made me feel so comfortable on the team um, that the transition has been really easy. So uh, I'm loving it out there with them. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're a well-oiled machine. Like, they just know each other so well. They know their throws so well. Um, and they make a lot of shots. So um, it's really great to watch and, and be a part of. Well, and that's the coolest thing tonight. Was you're, obviously, you're an integral part of it, 98%. Uh, uh, it just, you felt very comfortable, clearly. Yeah, I felt great out there and uh, had, a, had a couple nerves early, but uh, settled those as soon as I was able to make that first shot. Uh, you look very, very comfortable out there, which uh, shouldn't be a surprise. Obviously, this is an atmosphere you're very familiar with and comfortable in. Yeah, I love Merck's ice. Um, we seem to be in the zone there, and, uh, you know, it's just always so nice coming out on such perfect conditions and, uh, and just being able to play the game. And you guys seem to be, you were asserting yourselves early and uh, set up the steals, and uh, obviously that just helps the comfort level and makes the game a little easier from your perspective. It really does. Uh, you know, we got a bit of a, a lead early, which gives you a little bit of a comfort zone, but, you know, it's a long 10 end game, so you're never really quite, you know, comfortable with just a three point lead, but right. uh, we were able to add to it in the end there and happy with our performance. Missing out last year and having to watch it on TV, uh, I mean, uh, not the greatest experience at all either. I imagine it makes you even hungrier coming into this year. It does. Um, you know, it's always a hard event to watch, uh, you know, when you've put your blood, sweat and tears into trying to qualify for it. So we're happy to be here rather than uh, sitting on our couches. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and with the new format, obviously, it, it, there is a little bit more of a premium on getting out to a fast start and establishing some early momentum. It's true. Uh, you know, when we looked at our schedule going in, we said we have to get out to a, uh, a strong start. Uh, we have a pretty difficult draw in the beginning or so we thought and so we, f we figured if we get out to a strong start then we're going to have a little better chance to get to that championship pool. You guys are uh, really raising your game in prime time here. Two nights, two victories, you must be very pleased. Yeah, we're very pleased. Um, we uh, weren't as quite as sharp today as we were last night uh, so we definitely want to get back up there but there's always room for improvement so that's good. Um, so we just, uh, yeah, she put some pressure on us in the last half and uh, came down the last shot. And yeah. Probably easy to understand, though, because so much focus was on one game on, on your trip here, right? And then I imagine much of today was kind of readjusting your sights, readjusting your thinking for the week ahead. Yeah, for sure. Last night's game was a big game, and uh, we were all pretty tired after that one. Um, so to come out here and get a first W in the, the round robin uh, is good. So. Right. And what did you like what your team did tonight? Um, it was good. They, they kept their composure, and uh, it was good. We, uh, we made the, the key shots when we needed to. Yeah, for sure. That's a great way to end a game um, is uh, making that cold draw to the forefoot. So um, that must have been a very surreal experience. Uh, you've worn UConn all your life, and here you're playing against them. Uh, just describe what it was like just playing against those girls who you know so very well. Um, it was definitely strange. Um, like those are two, like Chelsea and Jenna are two of my best friends, like even still that we're not playing together. So um, it was definitely weird, but it just took a little bit of like, you know, extra concentration to just focus on the game and not who we were playing against. Cause like that could have been anyone else out there that we were playing against. So I just had to try and focus on that. And like now at the end of the day, like we can go back to being best friends. <laughs> Having said that, when you saw it as the first game at the freaking Scotties, uh, that one there must have been like, are you freaking kidding me? Uh, yeah, a little bit, but then like um, I talked to them on the phone the other day, and we were like really happy that we had to play each other first because yeah. now we just get that out of the way. We don't like it's not kind of like looming. Like we're not worried about that coming up later in the week, and we can just focus on being friends. So uh, you've played Carrie an awful lot. You've seen her an awful lot over the years. Now that you're on the uh, on the inside of the team, imagine you've got a new appreciation for her. Just uh, obviously she's a terrific skip and a terrific teammate. 
Yeah, obviously, for sure. Um, like, there's no reason that I would have switched to play with her if I didn't respect her. And I, um, I've i already learned so much from her. She has so much experience. And I just felt like I fit into the team so well. And they've just been so welcoming to me. So, um, yeah, it's just been really nice. And I suppose you guys come here with some expectations, too. Obviously, Carrie had a great run last year in, in St. Catharines. And I know you'd like to take it to another level here with her. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, like they, yeah, they really um, have focused a lot on like how well they did last year, and they really do want to improve. And um, I feel like we have a good combination of girls um, to to have a strong team. Like now we just have to, you know, put the shots together and uh, win some games and kind of see what happens. But um, yeah, <laughs> good start. yes, yes. First things out of the way. First games out of the way. <laughs>